three, two, one. Say hi, John. Hi. So uh, what's the deal with this guy? This I was given to from a friend at work who just didn't have the room for it anymore. And it's been sitting in my backyard for the last couple years. We've only used it a couple times because of how dangerous it is to load it. Why, what do you gotta do to load it? You need a person on this side lifting these weights up in the air. You need a person on the other side helping you. And there'll be a third person in the front on this hand crank winch. But it's very, very scary. So this is, uh, this is pretty sweet. This is actually like a two-staged kind of trebuchet. So what happens is these weights get lifted all the way to the top, like John was saying, but this arm right here comes down and gets locked over here, and there's a quick-release pin right over there, and that's how you actually fire it. And the friction from this bar right here kind of rests against up there. So this sucker wants to plummet down as soon as we pull this quick-release over here, and then these wheels will engage at a certain point around here and roll this way. And it really creates a whipping kind of motion at the very end of the stroke. And it's really cool. So I think today's plan is we're going to try to replace this little hand crank winch with a 2000, uh, 2000 pull winch that I got from Princess Auto for, you know, 70 bucks and uh, hook up a battery to it. And that's going to make this thing a lot safer. And we'll see if this... Uh, makes it awesome. So right here we've got that uh, that bar and that little pulley on the front. That goes on the top between those two uprights so it stays in place and the cable will sling from down there up around and tie down to a little eyelet or a hook down here. So that's how we're going to winch it up. So I think our first step is going to be removing this old hand crank winch which honestly that thing's probably rated for like 300 pounds max. That thing is a steaming pile so this will be long overdue replacement. Big upgrade. Let's get to it. It's got to go this way. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no. Wah, wah, wah. All right, well, let's uh, mark where we got to drill a new hole. Okay, so we need this guy moved over here. So let's see if we can get this out. worked. There you go. That one well. There you go. I see it now. Hey. Right <laughs> roll. <laughs> Perfect. What are you missing? Washers or the nuts? Uh, yes. Not oh, David. <laughs> and <sighs> click. There, it's tight enough. Tight. We thought we had a battery we could simply hook up to the 12 volt DC winch here. But turns out that battery is super dead, but we do have a battery charger. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this guy up because this can output 15 amps and this is a one horsepower motor, so we should be fine. We got the 120 coming from the barn. I'm plug this guy in, hook it up. This guy should be rocking. Nice. You pull this out to release the uh, wasp the clutch so now we can just take her we gotta reinstall that post and then run her down right yeah but we should put in the safety pin safety pin we don't have a safety pin yet let's put that in <laughs> so this is our safety pin slash launching mechanism so this bolt here there should be another piece of plywood on this upper part but that slides into here and then when the throwing arm comes down, there's that chain on there. The chain feeds through this channel here. This pin locks it into place, and that's what is going to hold all the weight. And then you pull the cord, releases the chain, and the trebuchet throws. Nice. All right, let's get that fixed up. A little piece of plywood there, and we should be rocking, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Hey, the whole sort of straight. Oh, it's lifting. Snap, crackle, pop. 
God, don't get your face too close to it. Based on that, that's probably not good. Yeah, that. Oh, it kinks your cable? Maybe it's just binding? <laughs> okay, we discussed this. This seems to be slightly underpowered, and what we know about this winch is it's a 2,000 pound winch. That's not 2,000 pounds worth of weight. But this thing is derated for every wrap it has. I think it's only rated for like 900 pounds, maybe less, when it has six wraps like it currently does, because this is 50 feet worth of cable. So we're gonna go ahead and chop off like 40 feet worth of this, and that should bring this sucker back up to like 1600 pounds of rating. There should be no problem. Also, it could be that our power supply, the battery charger itself, is not providing as much current as it needs. I'm thinking it should though, because it's only one horsepower motor but maybe it needs the battery after all, and that'll give it that, you know, 900 pounds of cold cranky amps. I don't really know, but what we're gonna do is shorten this, and we're gonna also stiffen this guy up, because this is kind of flexing and being a little sketchy. So we're gonna try to tie like a, a two by four all the way down through the whole frame. We're gonna shorten this cable, and we'll try this again. I have a good feeling about it. Let's get to it. <laughs> So John, how many times did you get stung today? One time. Hey, that's it. How many yesterday? One time. <laughs> Feel stronger already. So we got our braces here. We got this cable super shortened. So let's uh, wind up the slack and see what she does on our dry run here without the weights. Let's see, let's put the hexagons on and see what happens. Okay. Okay. Uh -oh. One sec. Yeah. Nice. Put in the launch pin. Leave the slack over here. Take this off. First victim, zucchini. Here's the first test fire. Three, two, one. Misfire. <laughs> hmm. It worked. It, it worked. Kinda. Eggplant went up. It went that far. Negative 10. I think we can save it. <laughs> Round two. Oh. Test fire, round two, three, two, one. Whoa! Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Success! One. Whoa. <laughs> nope. The adoring crowd goes to find the pumpkin of death. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Here goes a cake and a trebuchet. Happy birthday to me. sitting there. <laughs> Ran out of things to throw. Let's launch yeah. some twine. Let's launch some twine. Three, two, one, go! <laughs>
<laughs> wow. That's a new record. Negative three. 10 out of 10. We're trying again. <laughs> As this video comes to an end, I just want to say a special thanks to my brother-in-law John for having us out to play with his trebuchet, and just a reminder that John has his own YouTube channel called Homegrown Hobbies, which you should go to right now and subscribe and show him some love. A link to his channel is in the description down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.